Okay, folks, uh, just a few quick words about finger injuries, because um, I see a lot of these with the sports I'm involved in, with the jiu-jitsu and the climbing and mixed martial arts. Um, and the kind of injuries I'm talking about is where you've got a bit of a mild to moderate joint sprain. Um, so you've got a bit of a sore finger. Um, if you're worried that it's anything more serious than that, definitely get that checked out first. If you're worried it might be a break or a pulley injury or anything like that. Um, go and see a professional. Uh, but if you've basically just got a bit of a sore finger, what I see a lot of the time is that people will just take their fingers up and then they'll leave it, they'll wait for it to get better. Um, the problem with this is that if you're not actively using that range of motion, if you're not act actively working to get that mobility back, then very often those joints will stiffen up and you'll be left with a stiff and painful finger. Okay, so what I always encourage people to do is as soon as possible after the injury, just start moving it. Um, initially, you might not have very much movement, um, so you're just working within that pain free range, just up to the edge of the discomfort. And then by continually doing that, you'll gradually increase the range you've got. I'm not pushing that through pain, I'm not trying to force it, I'm just using that comfortable range and then in, just encouraging it a little bit further at the end. Okay, um, What you can start to do as it improves is just give it a bit of a push back. So I'm just gently trying to straighten that finger there and then I can relax and carry on moving. Okay, and then I stop, push back, relax, and just carry on moving it. But by actively working to get that range of movement back, um, I'll tend to get a much faster recovery than if I just taped it up and left it.